Hi, I'm Phyllis SouthernFrugal.com. Well, we're back out here this morning in the RV, and uh, what I ended up doing last night, or late, late in the afternoon, uh, is uh, putting another coat on the two seats of these uh, front chairs, or uh, driver's seat and the passenger seat, and um, so I've used a whole bottle now of the little uh, leather paint, and I've got one bottle left. So I'm going to go ahead this morning and put another coat on the whole chair, and uh, then we'll see how much paint I have left. And the other thing I've already done is um, I sanded a little bit on the uh, table late yesterday, and this morning I've sanded again, so that's really ready to stain. I've just got to clean all the dust off of it. And so the next project, or the thing that we need to do next, is to hang the TV or put the, whatever you call that, mounting whatever, up on the wall over there, and we need to find a stud. Now, I know that the studs are a two inch, two by twos, which are really not two by two, they're like one and three fourths or something like that. So anyway, we've got to find one on the wall over there, and it's not easy because apparently the uh, plywood that they put in here has a backing of styrofoam on it. And the reason I know that is because over here on the wall in the corner where you, we have this little wooden box that covers up some uh, wires has styrofoam behind it. So I'm assuming that all the walls have styrofoam behind them and it's got more insulation behind that. So I know this thing is super insulated because when I came out here this morning, now we don't keep the furnace on in here at all because uh, the uh, pipes are already winterized. So uh, I came out here this morning and the sun had barely come up and it was 54 degrees and outside I'm sure it was below freezing. So I was very surprised at that, really surprised. But anyway, I did have to go ahead and cut the furnace on because we need it, you know, at least 65 degrees in here to uh, be able to do the table and put the paint on. So uh, anyway, I opened up all the shades and everything so the sun's shining in. So it's, it's nice in here now. The temperature up on the wall says it's 68 in here now. So that made me very happy. But anyway, so the next thing will be the mount for the TV. And it's a pivoting arm so that it comes out and it will actually be over this window here on the back side. So we've got to figure that out now. There is a seat belt connection on that wall and we're both thinking that has to be a stud in there because they couldn't put that big a bolt in something if it wasn't a stud in that wall. And also I think there's one down beside the window. So anyway, we've got to figure that out. I think that Mr. Bucky's going to have to figure that one out because I looked at the instructions and I'm not real good at following instructions when it's like mechanical stuff. I'm not good at that at all at that. So uh, anyway, that's the project for later on today. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get the stain on this table. Now it's a golden oak stain and I'm going to paint both of these chairs again and probably will have enough for the third coat to go on maybe tomorrow morning. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead with that and we'll, we'll just see in a minute. All right, I, I can't tell from my screen whether this is in view or not. Hopefully it is. Anyway, so I've already sanded on the table using the 220 sandpaper. I just hit my head on that light. So now I'm going to clean this off. And I don't have a vacuum cleaner out here yet. So, and I don't want to have to bring one out here. So I'm just going to clean this off with a rag. And then I'm going to use a, a rag dampened with some alcohol. Let's see, can y'all see? Get all that dust off and then finish wiping it with just rubbing alcohol.
you know, so I'm just using regular rubbing alcohol. And I'm just going to wet this other rag with it. And the reason I'm using the rubbing alcohol is so it will dry really fast and I can put this, go ahead and put the stain on. Also, this will get off all of the uh, little residue really better than vacuuming it off will do. Oops, sorry, hit the camera. So I'm going to keep wiping until my rag doesn't pick up anything. Yeah, we're getting close to finished with all of this. And uh, we pretty well estimated that the uh, by the end of March, we will be finished with this. All right, I'm still picking up a little bit of it, so and keep rubbing it. Alright, I think that's going to do it. Now, some of the uh, golden oak stain is still in here, and if you're doing a piece and you want to get rid of all that stain, you can actually use Clorox to get a lot of the stain out. If you're, you're staining it maybe a lighter color, but since I'm doing the same color, it really doesn't make that much difference. All right, y'all, I'm going to let this thoroughly dry out, although it feels dry right now. Let it dry out for, no, oh, no, 30 minutes, and we'll be back. All right, we are ready to start uh, staining this table. Now, I've put my uh, little stain can in this little plastic. This is one of those uh, date containers. We use them for everything, but it will be a throwaway after we finish this. So I'm just opening that can. I've already shaken up the stain a lot, so just got a little uh, cotton rag. And we're just going to go to it with the staining. And this will be a wipe on and a wipe off. You just want to make sure you get all the area covered. And I just go ahead and put it on thick because I know I'm going to be wiping it off. And this is golden oak, so it should match everything else. circles or whatever. Just want it to go ahead and sink in. It's looking like it's pretty well covered. Yeah, it looks pretty even to me now. You don't want it to dry before you start wiping it off. You can still see that mark just a little bit. I did sand it a lot this morning. Alright. Now I'm 
just going to go back and go down in one direction. Now when I put the polyurethane on it, it will make it a little darker looking. Alright, so you need to look back on it and see if there's any area where you've got a uh, stain maybe standing. That's it on the stain. Now we're just going to be letting this dry overnight before we put on the polyurethane. All right, y'all, we'll be back in a minute. All right, I wanted to give you another look at the table. I'm not sure how much showed up really well on that last little segment because I couldn't see my screen because of the sun. Anyway, there it is. I think it turned out very, very nice. A lot better than it was. All right, let's go look at the chairs now. All right, I've actually sat in this chair this morning, or this seat, and uh, I'm trying to get my there, and uh, it's doing good. But I, I am see right there. Need more paint in there. Yeah, and more in there too. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get the next coat. The seat's already got two coats on it. The back's only got one coat on it. So we're going to go ahead with that. All right, we'll show you what it looks like when we get that second coat on the back. I wanted to go ahead and record this so you can see this post, which is golden oak. See how close the table matches? Now, the, the table doesn't have any polyurethane on it yet, but it looks like it's a good match to me. All right, we'll see y'all in a few minutes. I wanted to come back real quick and uh, say this about uh, when you start staining furniture or like the table. Always wear the little plastic gloves. If you don't, it will get all in your fingernails and your cuticles and even the tips of your fingers and it'll be a week before you can even remotely think about getting any of it off. Just always wear the little plastic slip-on gloves when you're putting on stain. I think probably everybody knows that, but um, I wasn't sure. So, all right, we'll be back in a little while. All right, I have got the uh, second coat on the back of each of these uh, front seats. And this seat, which is the driver's seat, it's only got uh, two coats on it. But this one over here has got three coats on the seat and two on the back. I, I think they look really good. I'm pleasantly surprised at how well this uh, leather paint uh, covered everything. And I did sit in this one several times while it was dry a while ago and moved all around to see if the cracks would open up and they didn't. So I'm very happy with that. And then of course the driver's seat looks much better and I suspect the people that owned this before maybe in the driver's seat they uh, probably had some kind of cushion over it when they were driving is my guess. Anyway so the next little project and it is going to be a little one is I'm going to fix this little cubby hole here. Now, we bought um, a piece of wood at Lowe's. It's really like a tabletop to go over this area, and it doesn't fit down right back here, but Mr. Bucky says we need to leave that um, up a little bit so it can get air in there. And so I, I originally put some of the uh, uh, fake or faux uh, um, 
granite in there and it, I, I had put it on plain wood and that stuff won't stick to plain wood. So anyway, I went ahead and painted that and now what we're going to do is take up this little strip here and these two uh, boards came from uh, the little table that was over under the window over there, little side table thing and we're going to cut them, one of them in two put the trim board on the side here and the other one on the side here and then the one long one we're going to put in here so anyway we're going to take care of that and you'll see that now when uh, we do the full video of all the makeover in here so anyway okay y'all that's about it I am tired I need to go in and fix some kind of lunch and uh, then we'll see y'all next time bye for now there. No, it's still on.